Hello and welcome to my review video after a very very long time. Yes, I always do that. I <laughs> I'm doing a review video at 12 a.m. in the morning because I was working for almost uh, 14 hours and after that break I wanted to do something which I love to do. So I just came up with my new can make blush so this is can make cream blush can make is a Japanese brand okay mm, very few people heard about it I'm sure everybody knows about all the brand stuff so this is a Japanese brand cost me $12 knit so can make cream shake this is you can see it's a red blush they have a couple of shades, probably 8 to 12 shades they have. So this is a clear, uh, let me read out the name. The name is Clear Red Heart. Of course, this is a red blush. I didn't want to buy the Chanel blush, which is Red Camellia, the new blush that will cost you something around 45 without the tax and the shipping i thought that is too much to spend on a blush so i got this one this is a cream blush which is supposed to be the similar texture we will see i haven't seen it i haven't opened it yet um so let's talk about it a little bit then we will swatch so the brand concept this is a japanese uh, in Japan it's quite well known it's a uh, it said it's quite high quality product so the brand co concept is the girly pop shiny as you can see from the uh, packaging it's like a diamond cut but this is a plastic this is a $12 uh, thing and uh, how much is the product uh, 0 0.01 kilograms they said i have no idea how much is that 0 0.01 kilogram my god that's very little actually what i felt for 12 dollar this is quite small um quantity i would say it's a gel type texture that's what let's open it so uh, how to open oh you have to open the package you have to tear off the package here um i can't read anything from the back because everything is japanese i'm opening in front of you <laughs> so there goes the cute thing <laughs> and as you can see it's written cl01 because i bought it from usa that's why at least you get a little bit of english written and i'm sure in japan it's not written here in english it should be in japanese so this is a gel uh, type texture uh, silky soft uh, which is um, instructed to use with the fingers now let me tell you about one thing about the bl cream blush why it's asked to use the finger because when you swipe it and then you use it on your cheeks you use your uh, finger so what happened you are actually spreading the color with the heat of your finger which actually distributes evenly in your skin that's why it's uh, asked to use the um, finger rather than the blush or sponge because sponge is gonna soak your uh, product and brush is uh, gonna put some strikes on your face so it's better to use the finger second thing is it's a uh, highly compatible with your skin and uh, compatible with the foundation vibrant color as we can see from outside it's quite vibrant Ooh, look at the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Mm. I have to say, 
I'm feeling really bad to give a swatch on it. <laughs> um, so let me take a photograph of this and then so actually the item weight said 0 0.387 ounces which is very small and uh, in amazon the set is, i bought it from amazon in the satisfaction level of the customer it said 4.5 which is quite high let me take a picture first then i will swatch it <clears throat> Let me take the picture of it has really beautiful colors so now let's try it oh, I'm really feeling bad seriously I'm feeling super bad swiping <laughs> Oh, ah, yes, it is gel-like texture. Okay, let me swipe it. Hmm. Okay, it's not that bright. The way it said, oh my God, I already, ah. It gives a very nice uh, glowy sheen but it's not that even um, I, I can tell you because I use Sula the red blush I use it and uh, I can tell you Sula has really very very strong uh, pigmentation um, can make is actually I would say not up to the mark uh, up to my expectation it uh, dries up quite quickly it's not balmy it's gel type texture that means it soaks inside your skin very quickly um, i think these are made uh, for the white whiter skin skin tone because i'm brown probably that's why it's not giving that high pigmentation which will show up in a white skin on a white skin so for me, um, I think uh, NC, after NC20, this is not going to work. I don't know about the other color, but I'm sure uh, they're also quite similar type of um, color range because I have seen this is the darkest shade in the whole uh uh, what do you call a whole um, collection so I would say if you are more than NC20 your skin tone that means if you are not fair you're in the mid color or olive color I would say don't buy it because it's not gonna show up it's a flashy color you have to lose a, use a lot of product this is very less okay as per like $12 this is a lot I mean uh, for $12 this is really less amount of because have a look this one is like spreaded and this is not that fat now I'm thinking I should have bought the Chanel one and uh, and the packaging is plastic absolutely plastic uh, for $12, I expect a bit more, a bit better pigmentation and a bit better packaging as well. Um, 
I would say this is a no for me. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sure a lot of can make um, cosmetic lover over there. But honestly, it didn't work on my skin. It doesn't work on my skin. That doesn't mean it's not going to work on your skin. Of course, if you're fair, it's going to work wonderfully on your skin. Um, as I can see, it doesn't even flash in. See, it didn't even flash on my skin. I put it over exactly here. So uh, this is a waste of money for me. Um, not for my, uh, not, not for my, my type of skin or darker than mine. I have seen people over there in Amazon, they actually advertised for the darkest skin tone uh, about this color because they're the darkest one, the uh, highest pigmentation it has. The others are like peach, pink, bubblegummy pink, all those ranges, uh, just like the Japanese or Chinese people like uh, those shades of color because it suits them. It's nothing bad. It just suits them and their skin is really like a pearl white kind of skin so that's why it's absolutely fine for them but not for me so yeah that's it from my side uh, it's unfortunately it's a no-no for me uh, I'm not going to buy anything from this brand again because uh, it will be a loss they, they make makeup just for very customized um, Japanese people or, or that belt of people or that skin tone people so it's not for me thank you if you have any question on this item or anything else if you hold any other opinion uh, of course you're most welcome to put on your comments in my comment box uh, no please don't be offended it's just didn't suit me that's all you may love the product, no problem at all. I'm not sponsored person, so I will tell the truth. This is the ultimate goal of this channel. So don't feel offended. I just tell you the truth. Thank you so much. If you're new, please subscribe. And uh, if you like my video, please like, share and comment. I'll see you again. Bye.